Yeah, um, it's been good being back out playing again after a pretty long spell in the sidelines. Yeah, definitely. You know, it was good to you know get some minutes against Celtic and then obviously first start for a long time. So. Yeah, just good to be back in, back in involved with the boys, and you know, we just I feel we're just gunning for for top performances and wins. How do you feel after that kind of the first start back as well? Was that yeah. good to get it under your belt? Yeah, of course, of course. I think uh, when you're training, that's what you're you're looking forward to, getting into the starting team, uh, doing well, and you know, in terms of you know helping the team build build from there. Yeah. You looking to obviously it's a good month to come back home with all these games coming up. A chance for you to kind of. To make your mark and get up to speed again. Yeah, definitely. I feel the games coming in the Saturday, Tuesdays is, is something to look forward to, and I'll be getting more minutes, more games. So I feel I'll be getting sharper and sharper, especially in front of goal and you know um, outside the eighteen yard for sure. You feel like you're still taking kind of, kind of hit your, your, your heights at Marlborough obviously at the end of the last season as well. Yeah. You looked pretty sharp at the start of the season. Yeah. Then you're out again. So you feel like there's. Marvel fans have yet to see the best team. Oh, 100%, 100%. You know, I know what I can bring. Um, I feel there's been moments where you can see these things, but, you know, gradually I feel the uh, the fans and, you know, everyone will see what I can bring. What have you talk us through what it's like those few months that you spent in the sidelines and, and watching the team struggle and you can't impact the way that you want to? What's that experience like for you? How difficult is that? Yeah, it's tough. I've, as a player, I've been been there, been been there at other teams where you know you're you're kind of gunning for the win. You, you perform well. Sometimes it doesn't come, uh, but it's just what I can do is just try and manage, you know, maybe emotions, you know, maybe in a train uh, changing room in, at training, and just try and lift lift the mood. And I think the boys are are all positive anyway, so it was it's quite easy. And I guess that comes with experience. I guess you've been through that before, or, or had other players do that for you, so that yeah. you can then pass that experience on. Yeah, of course, of course. We've got you can see we've got a lot of uh, we've got a few young players, um, probably players that have come from lo on loan and, and whatnot. So these are new experiences. So as much as all the experience I have, I have to definitely pass that down. And in the last two games, you've showed really great character to come back and score late goals. It feels like something that Motherwell seem to do quite regularly. Where do you think that comes from? I think it's, it's the gaffer, the management. Uh, we as players, you know, we don't give ourselves any excuses. Um, anything where like the last game, anything we're dealt with, uh, we don't feel sorry for ourselves. We we come back and you know it was good to to get a point, uh, but we are gunning for that win. And what is it like when you're on a run like this and you know you need a win? Do, do you feel the pressure amongst the squad? Is it quite relaxed amongst the squad when you're, you're not on the pitch? I think um, you do. You do feel that type of pressure but it's a, it's a good pressure you want to even if we're playing well we want to win win more games so um it's a good pressure we we expect more from each other and we always push each other so um going into the next game that's what that's what we're going to do and how confident are you going into tomorrow's game that you can get that win that you so desperately seek oh very confident very confident you know just like you said the character we've shown these are the positives we need to take but going in there we have to like you know taking the lead against dundee is how we manage it and go ahead from there do you like our trip to Bingham? <laughs> yeah, it's always been a Tifa. I've always got it around um, Christmas time, so I'm, I, I can't I can't be happier now. Yeah. Is it a chance as well? You're on the bus for a while, just to kind of you know, get that bonding and going as well. You know, and like you said, it's, it's a good good to get on a stay anyway. But it's a it's a good trip to, especially if you come, well only if you come back with a good result. Like yeah. Back down as well. Yeah, it makes it makes it more special when you travel together, especially a long journey, and you come back with three points. So. And all the boys will be uh, pushing each other for sure.